Hello everybody, it's your antagonist, the big feared balloon, back with some more Animal Crossing. Last time, we paid off our mortgage, and look, our house has a red roof, and it's probably bigger. Let's go inside to see what the difference is. Honestly, yeah, it's pretty sizable. Now we've got the 6x6 six six now. Let's move some stuff around quickly. Wee. Feels weird having stuff moved around, but yeah. So it goes here. There we go. Looks like, yeah, it looks good, I think. We'll have to change it around once we get more furniture and stuff. But yeah. So yeah, apart from that, we hanged out with some villagers. And off screen, I caught a lot of fish. A lot of fish. So much, in fact. About my inventory is full of new fish we need to donate to the museum. Yeah, even caught some tuna and carps. Or is it char? Yeah, char. Yep, and we've got to donate all these to the museum. So yay! Lavas, wakey wakey. I got tons of fish to donate. Hmm. So what? Oh, terribly sorry, who? I get so frightfully tired during the day, or what? So, by the way, might there be something in which I can assist you? Yeah, I got a ton of donations. One can only feverishly wonder what you wish to donate, hoot hoot. Ooh, indeed, hoo hoo, a horse mackerel. Tell me, BFB, how do you like to eat your fried horse mackerel? With tartar sauce? Vinegar? Uh, I don't like mace fish. Well, I haven't tried much fish, but I only like prawns from what I remember. Ah, cocktail sauce? Ooh, I see, fascinating. That's not what I said at all. Yeah, have the sea bass. <laughs> ooh, indeed, hoo hoo, a sea bass. The worst enemy of Animal Crossing players. I don't really hate them, but... It's more a skill issue if you don't notice the five stuff, but everyone falls for it. <laughs> the sea bass is a fleshy white fish with a rather delicate diet, eh what? It's tasty, prepared any which way, but I recommend a non-traditional dish. Like what? Sashimi! Indeed, consume the fellow raw. You shan't be disappointed. If I ever try more fish? Maybe I will try it. <laughs> Enjoy this black base. Ooh, indeed, hoo hoo, a black base. In sports fishing, the black base is up very often the main quarry. Apparently a delicious fix, so I imagine some sport for cooking follows. Indeed, I suppose they would call that a catch and eat program, hoo <laughs> hoo. Enjoy this horse. Of the sea. Ooh, indeed, hoo hoo, a seahorse. I can't think of a soul who claims to have eaten a meal of seahorse. However, you can use the centuries as a herbal supplement right now of. Supplement for what? I haven't the foggiest. Dab! is bad backwards. Ooh, ooh, a dab. Dab and flounders might look alike, but the way to eat them differs, eh, what? Dab is better simmered and sauce or sautéed, while flounder is better raw. Goes to show the palate is more discriminating than the eye. I got this at a carnival. <laughs> Ooh, indeed, hoo hoo, a goldfish. Ooh, in my youth, I once had a goldfish in my room. His name was Sir Blivers. I don't know if I had a goldfish too during childhood. I'm not much of a fish. But my goldfish was called Finba. And the day I got him, I got extremely sick. <laughs> so yay. Goldfish are actually quite sociable creatures, eh what? At least they are when they're being fed, that is. Who can resist them? Yeah, have this char cook char. Ooh, indeed hoo hoo, a char. There are many ways to prepare char. Or so I've heard from gourmands. 
Sadly, it's not deemed acceptable to char them, rendering all puns moot. Darn, my plan failed. I suspect any and all puns might have been substandard, so perhaps that's best. Snap, snap. Ooh, indeed, hoo hoo, a red snapper. I have the free places serve red snapper, but I actually understand why. It's rather dry and not at all flavorful. Hey, what? Are you just a food connoisseur or something? <laughs> football! What killed the football? The Ice Age! What killed the Ice Age? The dinosaurs! This is rather graphic, but football fish males can get attached to females. Literally attached, and then the male often gets absorbed into the females. Wow. I'm just thinking of slimes and stuff. I've heard of this and I thought, how lucky have I been? I was to have been born now, or hey, what? Enjoy this fatty tuna. Hoo, indeed, hoo, hoo, a tuna. If a tuna stops swimming, it will stop breathing and expire, hey, what? As you can imagine, this means it must swim when it sleeps as well. Think every day about how marvelous it would be if I could work in my sleep. Hey, can I owl perch on this then? Hoo, indeed, hoo, hoo, a yellow perch. Most of the perch family have perched on a dinner table at some time. Indeed, these fish are available for purchase all over the world, what? Well, I imagine the other perch would also be edible, don't you think? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's about it, thanks. I must sincerely thank you for your patronage, Who? We appreciate your support immensely, Hoot Hoot. Alright, I think we're done here for now. Yay, money rock! Come on, come on, come on! No. Alright. <laughs> well, but at least we tried and stuff. I guess that money rock out the way, Ali. Alright. As a heads up with this, I think we need to wait a bit more, but we'll be doing it up next episode. Oh, hey, look, a fossil. There we go. Ooh, what I dug up? A fossil. Yeah, apparently from what I read, because I was just curious on how many fossils there are, there's about three per day, but they get well hidden in autumn and stuff and behind buildings and trees so hip hip hooray for that oh hey gladys oh uh, hi bee monkey it's such a nice morning isn't it i love it when my day gets off to a such a perfect start stretch I just know the rest of my day is going to be absolutely brilliant. Brilliant for you was scary. Anyway, did you need something, Stretch? It's one of the sad facts of adult life that people lose interest in insects. Being in town with, in touch with insects is like being in touch with your inner child. You're always young at heart when you've got a bug in your pants. In this case, specifically a cricket. That's the one I'm after. Bee Monkey, would you be interested in taking on a little challenge? See if you can catch a cricket before I do, Stretch. I'll challenge you, but it's a 50-50 shot if me even get a net today. <laughs> oh, good luck to both of us then, Stretch. Let's go. She probably challenged us because she knows there's no net in Tom Nooks. All according to her evil plan. Hey, Drake. Huh? Uh huh? Morning, bee monkey. Last night I had a dream that I said morning to you, Quacko. Oh, that's right. You want to chat about something, right, Quacko? Star. Hey, bee monkey. I've always wondered what kind of a house you live in. You play like you're all casual, but your house is awesome. This is all just speculation because you never invited me over. So, what do you say? Can I come by and see your place, Quacko? I mean, you technically came in when you raided my house, 
Well, sure, you can come visit my house. Uh, wait, what time should I visit? I'm gonna do 9 Fay. Hey, Muggy, come on. It's not like we do this every day, Quacko. I need to stop by my place and get ready. Need a little more time, okay? Okay, then. 9.45. And I need time. I do other stuff. Sorry. Okay, metal note. The sick at 10 a.m. Got it. I'll definitely be there. Make sure you're there on time, because I hate standing ground alone. And with that, I've doomed myself to an hour recording session. Oh. Hello. Hang it on land, man. It's not so bad. Can I, uh, can I give you some wisdom, man? Go for it, dude. Forget silence, man. Scallops. Golden. Contemplate that, man. What did you just give me? <laughs> yeah, I got a picture. Yeah. <laughs> wonder if he actually does anything. Yeah. What's that, then? We do what? My summer vacation. This summer I planted lots of peaches and went fishing a lot. I caught two fish. It was fun. Ever Smith. Grade 3. Oh my god, it's a grade 3 curse. Kill it with fire. Where are you, Kee hee. Kee hee hee hee. Hmm. I gotta come up with something fresh to say. Can you come up with something that is as sophisticated as me? Sure. Hee hee, then please just go ahead. Okay. There we go. Now you can be like your favorite Poison Rose Razorade. Poison Jab, huh? Are you sure about that? Sure. Poison people. If you can get the chance off. Poison jab, huh? Okay, thanks. I'll be sure to try out Tisk Tisk. You go do that. Oh, I fell for a pet trap again. Hooray. Oh, Gladys. How are you? <laughs> Howdy, be monkey. I got a quiz for you. Stretch. If I were a film star, what sort of films do you think I star in, Stretch? I'd say more action. I don't know, that seems like a bit of a cop out answer as far as answers go. I'm not really that tough to figure out, am I, Stretch? My French Butch is always telling me I don't stand out enough. Don't listen to Butch. He always just goes, hey, you can't be a cop-out. Yeah, that's my feelings. <laughs> well, I gave up on trying to find fossils, because they were just too hard to find. Well, come on now, be honest. How do you like your new house, hmm? It must be nice having a little more space, wouldn't you say? Of course it is. Now then, there's the matter of the cost of your little project. For materials, labor, taxes, of course, permits, tittle came to... 1,200,000 bells. Or is it? 100,000, 20,000... I don't know. No, no, I'm not expecting you to pay it all right here now, hoo-hoo. Just continue making payments to my account like you have been, hoom. I feel like you're charging like 10 times a rate. And don't feel rushed. Take your time. Pace yourself. 
That's just fine, yes? Don't forget, you'll be need, needing, needing new furniture to build that new house. So I expect to see more of you in the store here. Yes, indeed. Well, you certainly like to mess around with not giving me nets. So I can catch bugs. You were just that cruel. But we have water again now. Yeah. Yeah, I like to buy that, thanks. Okay, okay. Very flower seeds at my store too, so pick up some up and beautify town, yes? I'll do that later today. How much does this harp even cost? I'll say for a harp, that's actually cheap. I'll buy that. And what's... how much is this seed then? I'll buy that as well. I realised through editing that you can actually see what these are. Show it to me! Mm -hmm. I thought I used it to decorate his own shop and stuff. <laughs> Show it to me! Oh, that looks cool, so I'll take it. Alright, heading off. Hey, I'm Abel! Hey, welcome! Welcome to Abel's. This is where you are the fashion designer. What are you in? Is that? He's looking at a king's beard. Nope. That's way too expensive. How much is this hat? Get you looking at people for a cat. Well, I'll buy it for now. How are you doing, Sable? Well, as usual. I just can't let my claws stray from their work. I'm sorry. Mabel, can you take care of this customer here? What, sis? I'm busy too, you know. Okay, again. Oh, I'll leave you to your sisterly bonding then. Oh. I've just realized. You have a new villager. Bill. Is this Bill's house? Yeah. Let's go make a visit then. Guess I'm gonna another duck then. Hello. Hey, nice face. How's it going, Quacko? I have to introduce myself. I'm Bill. My sign is Aquarius. Why does a duck have the same catchphrase as Drake? <laughs> you want lessons on how to walk around? Watch me, Quacko. We're definitely changing your catchphrase as soon as possible. Hey, B, you've been hitting those weights, Quacko? By the way, Quacko, what's going on with you today? Give me news. Hey, hey chill, will you? We just moved here and I'm still pulling it together. Give me till tomorrow, would you, Quacko? Apparently, ducks like living here. Well, we're just doing some recycling quickly. Protect your recycling by 6 a.m. on Monday and Thursdays. Let's get these in. Hooray for recycling! Hey, Freckles. I also like the bamboo static you got going. <laughs> hey, morning, BFP. You can hang out around and stare at me all you want. Probably not going to stare at you all you want. <laughs> but you'll get no coffee from me, Ducky. Oh, right, right, right. You wanted something, didn't you, Ducky? Let's chat. Hey, check it out. I look crazy cute in this outfit, right? Let's see. The green works, I think. 
I know that. After all, I smell a porter on that ducky. You got a good eye for fashion, BFB. I could turn it on and off. Hey there, BFB ducky. So speaking of which, you probably need something from me, huh? ABV, you know I totally like you, right? I just hope it doesn't wig you out and I want to check with other townsfolk too. Seriously, don't you worry. I'm not going to forget about you that easy, Ducky. Of course, because I'm a member of your fan club. Alright then. If I had a net, I would catch you. Well, since I'm having new luck with trying to find fossils, let's water some plants for a quick sec. Give us something else to do. Come on, let's go. I think I missed. Do I have to be Pacific? Can't tell. <laughs> I'm just going to shoot my watering them. Well, I watered some plants and still couldn't find any fossils because I suck at finding them apparently. Let's just give the one we have to flowers right now. Check a fossil. Ah, uh, hmm, yes, who indeed, hmm, fascinating, oh my. Yes, who indeed, what we have here is quite simply a pleasure torso. Right, I shall return to you, who. Oh, I guess we already have that, yeah. Oh, we're selling that then. But first, let's take a break at the roost. Hi, Brewster. The coffee may seem a tad expensive at first. 200 bells a cup, but it's well worth it. One, please. Thanks. All right, then, before it gets cold. One fresh brute cup. Enjoy. Thanks, I will. Ah, uh, a rich aroma, a bold taste. It penetrates my very soul. Or is it burning it? Yum. Interested in a special blend, I take it? You just say the same thing. Echo Crucian Cup, Cup ADM. Hey, what's up, Yuka? I know it's sudden, but can I ask you something? It's really important. Which of the following do you usually sleep on? Uh, probably like right or left side. I'm just gonna say right. Yeah, then put two pillows next to each other and put your head between them. Rain feels pretty good, especially when you're wearing colours. 
What's up, then, Drake? <laughs> Bee Monkey, you and Gladys have been exchanging letters. I guess they're friends. You think we could do that too, Quacko Star? I caught a zebra turkey fish. No gobbling these slow spines. Well, I caught some fish and got some new ones as well. So let's give them a donation. So by the by, might there be something with which I can assist you? Donation. Ooh, indeed, hoo hoo, a crucian carp. When I hear crucian carp, I think to myself, Taco, indeed, fish taco, what, what? I suppose this might be an odd choice of fish for such a dish, but I say, by any chance, would you like to try it out and get back to me? We're not eating that donation. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh, indeed, hoo hoo, a zebra turkey fish. I tell you, it's utterly impossible to eat a zebra turkey fish, but. I really wouldn't recommend it, to be honest. If you insist, though, you know my philosophy. Batter and batter and more batter. Yeah, that's very nice. Very nice little thank you, Blathers. <laughs> well, I sold the remaining fish that I caught, and now it's time to do a very quick decoration operation. Okay, that's that table. Okay, so we can place it in room benefits table. It's like an apple with a seat and stuff. That looks nice. I'll push it over here. A bit more out of the way. Then we have photo. And we have a heart, which I'll now let's move this and we'll place it here there we go oh we have some music in this room finally so that's good And now all we have to do is wait for Drake. Hey, be monkey, my main uh, human. Let's shake it, Quacko Star. Quacko. How are you doing, Drake? Ha ha ha. Well, I'll just come on in then. Are you coming in? Okay. Where are you going to have a look around at, then? Whoa, this is some crib you got here, Quacko. Bee monkey, do you know what paparazzi are? There are people who like to try to get information at any cost, I think. <laughs> is it pronounced paparazzi or paparazzi? Got any idea, Quacko? Well, watch out. Bill always seems to be trying to chase people down. Oh my god. Bill's just a Drake fan. We figured it out. Oh wow, Bee Monkey, check out that sweet watermelon chair. If you sit on it, it makes a weird noise. So uh, do that see to poke your dish when you sit on it? Oh no, I'm fine just standing here, thanks. Why do you find it funny I actually have commentary for that specific furniture? <laughs> What's going on with Bill and Freckles? Are they a couple or something? I mean, like, joined at the hip. I'm pretty sure Bill hasn't even left his house yet. 
Ask because they relax by kicking back and drinking green tea. Oh no. Or is it the fact that the servants of Gladys? <laughs> that could be bad. But like an old couple that's been together so long that look alike. I've had a total blast today. But it's the kind of blast that you remember later and just be like, whoa. All right. You know what I'm talking about? Goodbye. Maybe we can hang out again later. Oh, well, thank you for coming, Drake. And I think with that, I'm going to end today's episode. We didn't get much done in the episode, but hope you still enjoyed it and stuff. Next time, well, I hope we can get some more money. Try to find the fossils that are hiding. I may just do that off screen, but yeah. I'll see you all next time.